Merchant Proceeds from ticket sales will be donated to the Nevada Partnership for Home of You. Yeah, Motley Crue kicks off the Las Vegas Residency March 28th at Park and Jam. All right, comedian Russell Peters is going to make his highly anticipated return to Encore Theater next year. Yeah, this is coming just after being recently named as one of Rolling Stone's 50 best comics of all time. It's a one-night only performance, part of his Relax World Tour. He will be in town on June 28th of next year. Tickets go on sale tomorrow. R&B soul singer-songwriter Life Jennings is coming to Las Vegas. Yes, he's bringing his life. 268-192 20th anniversary tour to the House of Blues. Now the album and the tour are both titled after his prison inmate number because it was during his 10 years in prison that he developed his sound. In fact, the album was recorded two days after his release. You can catch Life Jennings on Saturday, December 14th. Tickets go on sale tomorrow. All right, still to come on more, Chuck of Madera is rolling out a new promotion. You can roll the dice and try your luck for a free meal. And then a horror classic is celebrating its 40th anniversary. Would the stars of the movie come back if they made a second one? Hearing from them coming up. And as we head to break, here's a look at your seven-day forecast. Fox 5, committed to covering breaking news. We're continuing to follow a huge fire. The local stories and giving back. It's just so wonderful to watch these kids go crazy and play. I love it. Our goal for the event today is $50,000. And the only local station honored with overall excellence for the sixth time in seven years. Congratulations. Thank you for trusting us to tell your stories. Opening the bag of chips without making any noise is hard. Hiring Morgan and Morgan for your interim is easy. Morgan and Morgan, America's largest interim law firm, is easy. You've probably seen all these names ads against me. Well, here's the deal. They are designed to tear us apart. But here's the truth. My life's work has been fighting on behalf of others. It's why I became a prosecutor, district attorney, and attorney general. I took on drug cartels and human traffickers to protect our communities. Look, everyone is tired of the petty disruptive politics. Let's turn the page and chart a new way forward. I'm Kamala Harris, and I approve this message. I was in a wreck. I need a check. Get murder road. Get your check. Get murder road. I was in a wreck. I need a check. Get murder road. Get smart. Entire 
experience taken care of. Here to tell us about all the food and fun happening at the restaurant are Melanie Victoria and Eric Hendricks. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Of course. Okay, so Eric, tell us about, uh, for those who haven't been yet, about the Mexican Steakhouse. So it is a Mexican inspired steakhouse. Mm -hmm. um, it is a concept done by Noble 33 Hospitality. Um, as you said, it's located in between Crystals and Aria. We offer lunch, what we're here to talk about on Friday, Saturday, is from 10 a.m. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about the brunch offerings, Melanie, because I don't necessarily think of brunch when I think of a steakhouse. So what kind of offerings do you guys have? Absolutely. So we brought with us some of our signature dishes. Uh, these are some of our most popular items. Uh, on our menu, we have items like chicken and waffles. Yeah. Um, this is served with a chipotle honey glaze. Oh, that's so if you like a little bit of spice and sweet together. Mm -hmm. um, we also have our brioche French toast. Okay, this thing is humongous. We can get a good look at that. That is like something you cannot make at home. Absolutely. So tell us about that. So it's made with brioche bread, a cinnamon toast crunch, and a cinnamon mm -hmm. whipped cream and topped with berries. Oh my so gosh. it's definitely a great dessert brunch item. Okay, uh, absolutely. But if you're a little bit more into savory type items, we do offer um, breakfast enchiladas. Enchiladas are amazing. Yum, yum. Yeah, but throw a fried egg on there and it's a total mm -hmm. game changer. Agree. And then of course we have breakfast burritos, omelets, oh my gosh. and a variety of other items that we don't have shown here as well. Okay, and now uh, mimosas, is this a, uh, what sort of juices do you have for your mimosas? Absolutely, you can't have brunch without mimosas. <laughs> Uh, so we do have mimosa kits for all of our brunches, and we do offer uh, juices that come with it. We make all of these juices in-house, whether it's uh, fresh squeezed, the syrup, or the flavors. Uh, with us today, we have hibiscus, passion fruit, and watermelon. Ooh, so that all sounds so good. I like, I'm torn between, so the hibiscus is obviously like the Jamaica juice, right? Yeah, and passion fruit, that sounds so good. Okay, well now I'm hungry, and I want my meal taken care of, Eric, so. Day on set. I have a feeling it was the day 
we did with Johnny and Amanda where we had the party at Amanda's house and uh, just getting to know Johnny and Amanda, just all the downtime that you have in a scene like that, it really forged our friendships in that scene. I had been in the makeup chair for weeks prior to principal photography and when I finally got to the set, I think it was just a single shot of me walking on a catwalk, you know, and I had luckily found the posture and the posture aided my walk so I wasn't always walking straight at the camera. I would sometimes take the one my shoulder and cross my feet when I walked, which was sort of cat-like, almost like a